you got that multi-twitch right? going. We don't, so we're about to be very excited one way or another. Uh, Moist Moki versus CLG S Fat. The crowd is erupting behind yes. us. Make sure you're watching it all going down. Now, Moki has been on a roll lately. Moki he, has been playing phenomenally for the last few tournaments he's been at. Yeah, I, it's kind of interesting because I feel like online that's definitely the case. And I think um, just kind of what a lot of people have been seeing is just... Okay, hold on. I want to see what happens with Ooh. this edge guard really quick. Oh, no. oh great. Great weight oh. on the up tilt. That was such a good stock. That was just every spot was clean. Every spot was practical. We got it down. Just the way that SFAP plays the game just feels very chess like. Mm -hmm. Like every move feels very just like calculated, yes. right? And he's yeah, just yeah. doing that at a very high speed. But mm -hmm. it's just so apparent when, when SFAP plays in particular. Like, oh yeah. man, it's just so smart. A lot of players, it's the oh. I'm going to move as fast as I can so that I can cover everything. And SFAT, once he starts to get a read, it tends to be like, nope, I'm, I got to put my back air out here. I got to do this. It's very methodical. Um, and it just makes it feel even more demoralizing when he's like, oh, he picked out four options in a row. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just off stage oh. now. Great shine for Moki. Uh, takes the lead for the first point here. Yeah, as we say all of that, right? It just, yeah. Moki takes the lead with just that one play. SFAT taking it back with another call out on his own. Mm -hmm. But going back to what we were saying about just like Moki. Oh, oh like, hold on, hold on, hold on. How did get the shine there? Okay. They both get caught. Yeah, okay. We, 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 can, we can bring that back. Um, between games, because there's just too much going no, on right no now. No time for analysis. We Not got Fox Dittos happening. Love the double shine from SFAT. Okay, what's the follow up? Nice. Okay. Let's see here. That Nair does get him back to stage. I thought he was going to get counter hit for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird reverse bear. Yeah, I think a reversal that, that no one really saw. So because but, of hey, that. We take it. Mm -hmm. we, we take that all the way to the bank. Moki up at 65%. All right. <sighs> Oh man, all of this started because S Fat reset? overextended a little bit. Oh, that's that that could be a dead S Fat, and that will be a dead S Fat. <laughs> Moki, dead, dead S Fat. It just sounded like something else. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not at all what I meant. But mm. you know what? I, I'm okay with that too. Mm. <laughs> all right, is it FD time? Oh, it's FD yes, time. Sir. Yes, sir. It's FD time. Now, when it goes right for S Fat. It goes really right. I've seen this go wrong. SV, <laughs> FD in particular is such like a kind of like a polarizing stage, yeah. right? Because like Fox Dittos are already kind of like a 70 70 matchup. It's you one know, of those you know weird, I mean? you just get blown up no matter what's happening. Yeah. Exactly. And FD exaggerates that, right? Yeah. So it's like that could go. Oh, no! That drill was so smart. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what you're talking about. You SFAT took Moki here, but Moki's the one who got the chain grab. Is going to get it going again. No, just waits. There we go. Mm -hmm. Good no. job getting off to the edge so that you're not taking even more damage. Ooh. But now you're just off stage. You know, I uh, like that SFAT kind of went high there, but uh, it didn't really work out because Moki kind of just covered all the options. I wonder if SFAT would have been better off just kind of like taking a, a harder mm -hmm. gamble there. He kind of picked like a very safe option. Okay. You, th you think the risk reward was just not quite there yet? Maybe not against Moki. Let's this is see that Moki's just looking so good right now. Moki's looking so good right now. That edge guard sequence happened on the left side the exact same way. Yeah, S Fat went too high. Moki covered kind of like that that lowish mid range. Moki got the hit and then just got the read on the shine. I would say that was even the the first chain grab situation that S Fat was able to get, and now he's getting sent off stage. Oh my this is, god. Was, this is just the Moki show. Moki's back at home. He's streaming. He's putting up clips on Twitter. I don't know what you want from him. And on top of that, I feel like Moki is playing like the mental game just so well because yeah. that last edge guard sequence, their S fat actually went for the hard read, going for the edge. And yeah. I think Moki read that actually. He did a slightly lower back air with a different timing to call mm -hmm. that out. And so like Obviously, players are aware of like the pressure that they put on their, their opponents, but like we just saw that so clearly in those last three stocks. I am shocked that we went back to FD. I, I get why we went here game two, but I don't see game three unless there's some crazy adaptation going to happen. Right, and that's an up smash. And, I, you know, I want to point that out uh, again on the edge guard. There uh, that time, Moki went high, kind of mm -hmm. reading that S-fat, you know, <laughs> that, well, 
I, I don't know. I just feel like Monkey's <laughs> just leading his edge guarding just so, so well. No way. Not going to happen. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you're s you're taking that. Obviously, everyone takes the stocks to the bank, but sometimes you need that momentum to just get back in the game of like, all right, I got an early kill. It doesn't matter how it happened. I need to take this now. And this right. is what we're seeing. That was a great re-grab. Oh, that was, a, that was a cute full hop laser, I guess. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why he did that, but that looked really funny. Okay. Yeah, S Fat has to be really careful here. Okay, th this is very good. Gets the tech chase. Yeah, he's finally getting this momentum. I mean, totally proven me wrong. Unless... Oh, he jumps. Unless... Oh, no. Okay. Back to even. It's almost... Percents uh, don't even feel like they matter oh. at some points in this. Fox did OFD. I, I yeah. don't think it matters. It, like, <laughs> like, this is the matchup where percents matter kind of like the least, I think. Mm -hmm. Because it's just like any any neutral win at like 0 to 100 kind of leads into s kind of the same thing. Yeah. So as long as, you're, as long as your opponent's solid, you just have to expect that you might die. Okay, oh. two reverse bears. Oh, I love that mix-up from Moki. Mm -hmm. Wow, and this mm -hmm. has been so even. I mean, totally proven me wrong, but Esfet has to clean this up. This is the you Benji You need monsters. to get yourself on the board. It's his tournament stock right now. This is, this is to make losers side top eight. Uh-oh. Oh, this is so big. Oh, no, no. Esfet has no jump. Does land, but is super in a bad position right now. Being bullied on the ledge. Okay, the counter hit shine. Oh, this is big you for Esfet. You just go for the shine. Covers. He's gonna, okay. Oh no! Spaghetti! I, I, this actually might be it. Oh, he gets back! No way! No! <sighs> SFAT dropping it, going for a spot dodge, I guess, mm -hmm. anticipating like a fast fall back air from Moki. Moki doesn't bite. You saw Moki nodding at the end there. Like, that was some relief on his face of like, oh my god, I almost dropped that game. Yeah, th those moments are tense because it's like, while it was a 3-0, while it was a dominating game one and game two, or I guess mostly game two, I forget exactly how game no. one went, right? Yeah, no, game one and game two were both three stocks, but that last one was, you could see SFAT coming online, but that was in losers. Mm -hmm. It was a little too mm -hmm. late. If you're Moki there, you definitely want to clutch it out because it's oh, like, yeah. right? At, at the highest level of plays, like, swings can definitely happen, even though, you know, if you, mm. if you did well in the first two games, so... Congrats to Moki being the lead, or make first of all, making top eight. I but was also just about to say, yeah, making top eight. We will see you on that stage later. Uh, and depending on, so Sunsei is beaten Lucky, oh, which means that Sunsei has to play the loser of Hbox S2J. Wow. If Sunsei wins, then they will also still be tied for that Red Bull flight. So right, right, right. Moki's got to be feeling good about his <sighs> chances, but Sunsei definitely has something to say about it. I gotta point out, Sunsei didn't just beat Lucky, he 3 0'd him. Now, we don't know on the quality or like the difference of those matches. <laughs> the right? quality of 3 0. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, honestly. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm kind of joking, but not really. Yeah. I think it was, I, I forgot who put out that tweet like on Challenge where it's like 3 0, but close though. Yep. You know? <laughs> and, and it's a joke because every TO has heard the like, hey, I got 3 0'd, but it was close. But there are definitely closer 3 0's <laughs> than others. There's the ones where I'm like, it was super scrappy. We went to last hit every single game, but I lost. And then there's the ones where I'm like, yo, I got triple three stocked. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Those ones you don't talk about. Mm -hmm. That's just a 3-0 with, uh, with no asterisk.